Welcome to Toffee TV, here's the final word. I'm joined by John Blaine, who was at the game last night. Lincoln City. We're through, John. That's all that matters, isn't it, really? Well, this stage, yeah. I mean, I mean you get a, a lower league team away from home. Mm. It was pouring out rain as well. And there's many a slip happened in the past. We've been there. Yeah. And we, uh, I think they showed a bit of fiver yesterday, going, back, going, to, you know, going down so early. And then when they got back to 2-2 as well. Um, I think in the past we might have found that hard and difficult, but yeah, it's just about getting the results. Yeah, were you surprised by the team? We made a few changes, but obviously you kept Jordan Pickford in goal. Yeah. Um, the likes of Michael Keane, the likes of Snydland, likes of Sigurdsson in the side. Any surprises for you? No, no. I think uh, he, he clearly said at his press conference that he was going to respect the competition and all, all those sorts of things. Um, but I expect him to play a strong team. Yeah, I mean there was a bit of Twitter banter about people who think he's going to play like the best team and the people mm. who think it's going to be a load of no marks if you will or second and third stringers I think the only surprise for me was Tom Davis wasn't involved so I, I don't know what happened there but he it? wasn't in the squad so I, you, I don't know whether he was injured you or, presume or, there might yeah. be an injury but no I expected him to play a decent team and, and, and he did yeah it was pretty much around what I thought it was going to be I thought Tom would play yeah I was hoping Yeri Mina was going to play because I wanted that sort of solid back two centre backs and the goalkeeper yeah. Uh, but I can understand why he didn't play him. He's probably just trying to make sure that after watching Holgate, I'd be like, I'd rather Holgate did play in the League Cup games and Yeri Mina played in the Premier League games because uh, you can see the different levels. So, no, no, and I suppose when you look at the squad we've got now, any team we put out now looks strong on paper. It does, it does, and the bench does tends to as well. Mm. I mean, and, and it, 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 people try and second guess what the manager will and won't do, but I, I would have thought it was nailed on that Keane was going to play, Keane without any, yeah. Mm. You know, Alex was going to play the right, what's it, Sadibi? Sadibi. Sub, 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 um, it was clear he was going to play, yeah. and, and then it, to me, he wasn't going to play Sigurdsson and Gomez, so mm. somebody was going to come in there. Clearly, Delph needed to come in because he was supposed to be fit and he needs to get some minutes. Yeah, and that's fundamentally what he did, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah. Was, they were the changes. I think that's the difference, isn't it? Loads of people were probably well. Some people were suggesting, oh, you know, Anthony Gordon, who played the night before, she so was never going to play, or or uh, Lewis Gibson, but not going to do that. You're not going to do that, are you? Because there's no. It, he said he was going to respect the competition and, and you can make a few changes and keep a strong team. So, And with last night, actually some of the changes, like you just mentioned, they're Keane and Awobi. They're players who you go, well, actually they're first teamers who are who need that extra bit of they fitness. Do. Yeah. Who could well yeah. be involved on, on Sunday against Wolves. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, I mean, and, and it's, it, it makes it better stroke easier for the manager. If you think about it, as fans, we're going to throw our teddy out of the pram, aren't we? Mm. If he makes wholesale changes, puts out a team which on paper we should win, and yeah. then it doesn't. Yeah. Because that's the manager's fault, clearly. Uh, and then you've got, you know, the best team in the league always seems to put out a pretty, if not their strongest team, but very close to it. Mm. So why shouldn't we? Yeah. Uh, particularly as we've looked a bit rusty, if you want to use that as a word, in the league games up to now. And some of them were really tired last night. I think Richarlison was really tired near the end. Um, so games help and of course what we did get out of the game was the miserable so-and-so that is Richardson scored a goal yeah um, so, so that will have helped him mm -hmm. a lot and and Dean just uh, furthered the you know the emerging legend of, a, of an adequate shall we say replacement for Mr Baines yeah yeah we'll talk more about uh, Luca Dean in a moment but um you told me you just got to your seat just in time to see Lincoln no, scored. didn't see it. Didn't see it. No, no. Me and John, we 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 got been in the Gold Needle, which is a fabulous camera pub. Um, so we'd had a few beers with some one of ex um, guy used to be on the Commission Shareholders Association. Lives like twenty miles away. Vince, if he watches, Vince it was good to pick a good pub for us to go to. And then when we got in there, we had good time, ten or fifteen minutes. Mm. And we just fancied a burger or something, but they were really slow. Yeah, and and probably we were, not used to them. And we were walking across the front as you can there to to go to our seats, and we we're probably halfway up the steps when behind us they scored. <laughs> so we had to ask people what happened there. Then it was absolutely typical, wasn't it? Um, just a slow start. Yeah, players not come out the blocks. Them looking for the upset. Everyone looking for the upset. You know, Sky even said at the end of the game, unfortunately we couldn't give you a Lincoln win. It was well, like, I mean, they picked their games for hopefully to of get course. with West Ham the night before. Um, and and it, to me, it was uh, when I got home, 
we got home about quarter past one or something, and then you stick Sky on, watch it. I was surprised to see their goalie had the ball as well in those 20 seconds, hadn't he? Mm. You know, so it was amazing how it was almost like they punted it forward. Sadibi was a bit naive, I think, defensively. And I don't know if you're going to talk about him, but that, that will be interesting. Um, and of course, we went go, we go one down. Yeah, uh, it was a poor. Dominated the game. It's a poor game goal to concede, but yeah. to be fair to that, Addy took, took it, it really well, well considering. His body up well, yeah. Took it really well considering it was in the first minute or so. So, yeah, um, yeah one nil down. But as, but but then we we got a, we got a grip of the game and we we, 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 we um, started started playing it round. Well, it's it's a cup of coffee, of course. It's hot. There's no milk in it. Of course, it's hot. Uh, I know it's hot. Yeah. We started playing the ball around really well. Started opening them up a little bit, making a few chances. We, did, yeah. um, we just couldn't find that that killer touch. Um, again, at times, just a little bit too slow, a little bit too safe, a little it bit is, too pedestrian. It is. it is. Just there needs to be. I think some of these players just need to be, like you said, a bit. I know there's, there's rustiness, and then there's the the whole thing of well. The season started. Yeah, you've got to get on with it. Well, what what was su surprised then disappointed me, and I was talking talk with the guys around us was when we got ourselves sorted and we took the lead. Obviously, they all got a little bit of a lift from, mm. from that. Lincoln got a little moderately deflated, and for I don't know how long it was and whether it showed on TV, but five maybe ten minutes, whatever it was, we pinged it around really quickly, mm. and they didn't know where to put themselves. Yeah. And then it was almost like they thought, oh, we've got this. Yeah, and relaxed a little bit, yeah. and then that's, and that's when they got in for the for the two two. But um, we had a few chances, as I said. Um, but it was a Dean, Luca Dean free kick, which Stunning, wasn't it? which um, brought us back into the into the game. And, and Luca Dean, I mean, the goal, of, the free kick itself was again watching it, watching it on TV. Um, they were all expecting. It's funny how on TV, like when people are talking and they're all building Sigurdsson up. I was like, going to say, the close up, I saw that when I got home, yeah. wasn't I? The close up, Sigurdsson. They're all building Sigurdsson up like he's got this amazing free kick record at Everton. As, couldn't it's a barn door at Everton from his free kicks, hasn't it? One. Swansea every week, goal, 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 goal. Everton, not one. So obviously, Luca Dean stu you know, stood up, took it, and as soon as it left his foot, it was. It was Curling into the What's top he scored corner? for us now? Four goals or something? I think it's book. five, isn't it? Oh, five with last yeah. night, I suppose, yeah. yeah. And they're all memorable goals, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They've just all been fantastic. All outside the box. Yeah. Um, and all all top quality. Yeah. He's just as you said before, he's just replaced Baines without any any worries at all. Now and what I liked about his performance was that when we went to Millwall in the cup, he looked a little bit rattled. He didn't like it. He didn't like playing in a in a game like that on the night. He he made silly made silly fouls, which they capitalised on. He did on. get rattled, didn't he? Yeah. Whereas last night there was none of that at all. He was he was so that was so smooth all through the game, and it was like it was completely different headspace. Whereas at Millwall, which was obviously the last cup game we played in, there was just something on the night. He was just mm. you no, know, just doing silly little things that led to those free kicks that always gives teams like that the opportunities that they crave, they need. Well, we'll find, yeah, we'll find out, won't we, at the weekend, whether the, the, the players, because you've got to assume the manager wants them to play with a bit more mm. urgency, a bit more, move the ball quickly. Because we've got a, a good selection there of um, gifted technical players, mm. and we look better when we're moving it quickly. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and, and Richarlison's goal was all about the ball comes to Dean, he acutely flicks past their guy, but he just sets himself and crosses it. Yeah. And and Richarlison's done the movement, but if he just saunters off down the wing, has a look, thinks what it, and so on, strikers are making runs back and off, making runs back and off, and so yeah. on. So moving it quickly, I think we can challenge any defence doing that. And it's, it's, it's Lincoln, come on! But it's moving it quickly, though. Yeah. We do seem to have a bit of a bit of a block there. But let's just look, have a little look at some of Dean's uh, stats from last night. Ninety-five touches. You stato now. Are you? Goals, goals, one assists, one. Um, Successful long balls four chances created five. I mean that's the that's the big thing, yeah. isn't it? For a left yeah. back, just for to make that many chances, that's. I mean that just shows the level he's on now. Yeah, apparently Andrew Robertson's worth twice as much as him. So, <laughs> <laughs> don't know that works. Let people think that. Uh, his pass accuracy was eighty eight yeah. percent as well, which is um, pretty good. Pretty good. You, I mean, you want it more in the 90s. Well, we're but... going to get more and more of the crap now, aren't we, about where's he going to get transferred to because he he, he must be yeah. the best left-back in the, in well, the Premier League. Well, listen, I'm, I don't care. 
I don't they care. Can have we can have that argument. Yeah. People can have that argument all day. I don't care about arguments about, about that. What I see is a, we've got a brilliant left back who's gone. He's in the been called up against the France squad today. Yeah, yeah. He who, should re-establish himself there, shouldn't he? Yeah, who for me, you know, his age. Everton needs probably needs to stop be already looking. Is he literally just twenty six? Yeah. Think, so yeah. people need to, Everton needs to start looking at. Who's next? Giving him another contract. Yeah, yeah. Give, getting that next contract. Uh, successful tackles, three. Successful dribbles, two. And interceptions, one. So not only is he good going forward, he's good defensively as well, which he, he showed that last night. So, um, as I said before, I think it's just that level now of... But I, I think in the Premier League, I'm not saying it's easier, because you need more quality. Of course you do. You need to be able to deliver those balls and those free kicks. It's in these games where people get into it. We've seen them last night, all the... Early on, that I can't remember the lad's name, but he's he's having a go at uh, Snyder all game. He was trying to, and Snyder fell for it. That's what make, that's what's even worse. It's when players fall for it. The lad towards the end, the who, Snyder, the twenty-two, Lewis, the lad that went who went through um, uh, with Charleston at the end. Well, he's the fellow who pushed uh, Siggy over. Yeah. In the, that caused the melee in the in the goal as but, well. Doing all this, but uh, doing all this when but Charleston had scored and we were winning, <laughs> and he's got and you've just. To be honest, you know, in the Premier League, he could have been sent off for that tackle. It was a, it was horrendous. Well, that's what we thought. Horrendous yeah, it was. At our end of the game, and there was yeah. no way, um, nowhere near the ball. Or it anything. was pure malice as well. It was it pure was. malice, which should be a sending off for mm. me. But that's that's the difference. Is that as I say, going back to that Millwall game, Dean was a little bit naive in that game, whereas I thought last night coped with it brilliantly, absolutely brilliantly. And naive is probably and it's on you. Is he on your board there, Sadibi? He's not, is he? But, no. But that's what he looked defensively naive. Well, we'll, well you know, I mean, just we'll, not aware of what's going on. Well, we'll talk. I mean, obviously, he made his debut last night. Delph made his debut. Yeah. Moishki made his debut, and Awobi made his yeah. full debut. Um, so obviously, you're chomping at the bit to talk about Sadivi. I thought he started the game poorly. He did, and he. <laughs> I thought him having a fight. He grew with the into ball. the game. I thought him having a fight with the ball, but he was brilliant. By the way, <laughs> I thought that showed a level of um, a level that. that the we whole team have... seemed to be keen and on it, didn't they? They did last night. Crowd yeah. around players yeah. and, and what have you. And it was Pick, standing up for each other. Pickford running the length of the pitch yeah, yeah. is, a, yeah, is on a new level. Shirt. <laughs> but I thought Sadibi grew into the game. He did. He and did. what I thought was... Looked very promising. He, as the game went on, he wouldn't suffer. He wasn't suffering any feels either. No, he wasn't. He was prepared to go in for things. He, yeah. was, he wasn't, you know, a bit of, you know... Someone coming from the French league, someone playing for Monaco, probably hasn't had it that, that tough. Had had a bad injury last season, by the way, knee injury. Um, but he looked like he was prepared to 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 have a little bit. As he well. did certainly, and he, he he showed great promise for me, and and grew, as you say, grew into the game, and um, he'd be all right. He'd be yeah, all right. I think he will. I think he'd be a good backup. Yeah. Um, I thought that's why last night was good. I think that the weather. You know the fact that they were up for it and being snidey on a cake and so on. Yeah. It made it a tough game. I think the, particularly the guys who needed some match fitness like Delph. Delph, yeah. he, he just looked great, didn't he? Delph, yeah. Delph, I thought looked good. I thought, I thought that the, his ideas were more were uh, were more promising than them actually coming off. A lot of the stuff he tried didn't actually come off, no. but it was the idea that he was trying it. It will come off when he's fully fit. We already know that he's a good passer of the ball. We know he's a good footballer. Find space as well. We know he was good enough for Manchester City. Mm. Um, always trying to look forward as well. Always trying to probe, get the ball into the right areas. So, it, you know, if it didn't come off last night, that was all right. But it will come off. I it think will. that's that's the, that's the most will. important thing. Um, what did you think of Moise Keane? Uh, he's young, isn't he? He's raw, mm. I think. Um, he, he's probably... And it, not just last night, seeing it in the other games. He's still at that innocent level of... He always wants to try things, mm. but he moves the ball quickly. Yeah, he's not scared of shooting. And when he hit the post, yeah, I mean, it was boom, bang. Yeah, um, so I think he, what we can expect is he's going to be used as impact, isn't he, for quite a while? I would think. I, I thought, can't imagine him starting for, for a while. No, I, well, I, I, I'm not not sure for a while. I don't. I looked a while at my, in this game is. I looked at him between now the international break. But I looked at him last night and thought, are you ready to start against Wolves and? I know a lot of people won't want to hear this, but I'm not sure he is ready to start. No, I don't. Wolves. I agree with you. So you, because, you disagree. Sorry, we're here. You're not. And I think the difference <laughs> is. I think the difference is. Is that? But it will be is. No, I know. We'll come on to a will be. I've got. I've got pictures and everything. Have you? Um, <laughs> there you've got stats, haven't you? The difference is. <laughs> the difference is with with them like, with yeah. Moise Keane and Dominic Calvin-Lewin is. 
Moise Keane's got tricks and he'll get away from people. But I think that that player who plays up front for us is so isolated at times. And that was illustrated by a stat that came up before the game that Sigurdsson's only passed to Dominic Carvalho three that's times, that's which, funny, which is yeah. which shows how isolated it is. is Don, yeah. whether you think it's right or not, he knows how to play that. Mm. He knows how to get involved in a game. I'm not sure. I think Moise Keane wants to be involved in the game, mm. so we'll go looking for the ball and therefore is able is able and yeah. doesn't give us that focal point where. We need that long ball at times to get the wingers in. And I just think for the time being, you get a little bit more out of Moise Keane coming off the bench. You see, last night, he's, he is raw, but he's got so many great little tricks he that he wants to get... He'll get himself out of situations. That's where the goal is. But I think I think for the time being, the manager... I'm, I'm, we both might be wrong, but I think the manager will look at it and go, I need someone who I know will stay in the position and bring Richarlison, Bernard, or Wobie, Sigurdsson more into the mm. game. And I think that's dumb for now. And that's why the manager likes him. And whether people want to moan about Dominic Carvalho and how long he hasn't scored for or whatever, that's why the manager likes him. That's why every manager he's played at, at Everton likes him. Mm. Because he's a player. It's why it's why, um, it's why why David Moyes loved Anna Chaby. It's because you give him an instruction and he goes out and does it. Not every player can do that. And that's why people like, that's why managers like Dom. And, and, and he... Dom keeps the opposition's central defenders busy all the time. Mm. He wins most things in the air, doesn't he? So, so what we're really looking for is, it, and, uh, I don't get the people who give him stick who, who, because but maybe he's, I'm shocked, is it because he's got number nine all of a sudden? Mm. You know, is, is it being called a striker and you're supposed to score goals? It's about how many goals it's does the, the team score. It's the same reason Tom Davis gets stick. It's the same reason why Leon Oswin used to get stick. It's the same reasons people. People can't see past um, the idea of a young lad coming into the side. They want bigger, brighter, better in their heads. But what if you haven't got bigger, brighter and better? Or bigger, brighter and better isn't ready to play yet because they haven't been moulded into how the team wants to play. So I thought Moise Keane showed some l lovely little touches and lovely little moments. Um, but I still think that the manager will want him to stay up front and be the focal point mm. of the team. And whether he's ready for that yet, I don't know, but that is that is down to the manager. Um, Awobi, I thought was great. He was very I thought impressive. he was great when he came on on Friday. He was. And I thought he was great in this game. And he's got the work ethic as well that Richarlison's got, hasn't he? He puts himself about a bit. What I liked about him was, every time he got the ball, is that his first thought was, how can I go forward? Yeah. How can I go forward or how can I create a goal or, or have a shot on target mm. and there's not enough of that at Everton there's too many players who want to play safe who want to go wide when they're in central areas he looked like a player that when he gets the ball centrally he's looking for a runner because he's been that's how he's been brought up at Arsenal mm. very direct and I think there's not enough of that at Everton I think you're right yeah I see there you go oh, there. touches 50 goals 1 shots 3 which is good straight away a player on his debut having shots and yeah. I know I know the, the the opposition might be great, but he's a player. I all game I thought he's going to score tonight because mm. he looked like he wanted to mm. score. He was desperate to score, and we don't see that enough. Do you know the other only other player I think are good at Everton at the moment? Well, Moise Keane showed a little bit of that, but the only player I think is desperate to score, and this is why he's always got a cop on, is Richardson. Yes, yeah. And that's why when people go, he's sulky, and I've been guilty of it myself. He's sulky because he wants to score, and he's not happy. And he looked the same last night. Because yes, yeah. you know when like Bernard gets the ball. Bernard is like the kind of player, as much as he's great, he looks like he's the kind of player who's like, I'm happy if I set someone up. But Charlison's, I'm not happy unless I score. Yeah. And Everton don't have enough of those players. His goal meant a lot to him last night. Exactly. Really Lukaku, Lukaku yeah. was another one of those players. You, you ask any great striker, the top strikers, some of them will walk off the pitch and they might have won. Ronaldo, whether you like him or you don't like him, how many times do you see him when he scores? Uh, when someone else scores in the team and he's got that face on him, as in, I should have scored They've that. Usurped me you should have passed that ball to me. <laughs> yeah. You need players. Now, I'm not saying he's like that exactly, but last night he looked to me like, I want to score tonight. I want to show these fans that I'm on it and I want to be. And it is, it's the old, it's, a, it's an old fashioned thing, isn't it? It's mm. my full debut. I should score because they'll remember that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shot on target two, excellent. Successful passes twenty nine, chances created two. Again, scoring goals and trying to create goals as well, which is nothing to me. These numbers, man. Well, you know, 
Uh, pass accuracy, 81%. Recovery, three successful dribbles, two. The people out there find these really exciting. But these these are things that you've... These, this is where football is, John. So it's, how are we going to debate in great depth why his pass accuracy is only 81%? Well, I think his pass accuracy <laughs> is 81 No, but the reason why... Depends, pa- it's an quality thing there about how hard are the passes you're trying. No, no, no. The <laughs> reason why... This is why central defenders now have pack, pass accuracies of all 86 and 87%. And they're passing it from here. The, exactly, because they pass safe passes to the keeper, Schneid- to them, and out. Schneidlin should be great, but he's... <laughs> Yeah. Snyder's pa- pass accuracy, I would imagine, is really, really yeah, good. Yeah. But he's a kind of player who's probably he's probing. He's looking for the chances. He's trying to. It's like when Rooney was at Everton, his pass accuracy wasn't great, but it was because he's always trying to make chances. So you're taking risks, of course. So it's they're not always going to be that I high. Think that's what our team needs to do a bit more. Take risks, yeah, massively. We've got too many safe players, or too many players who are playing safely. Because he haven't got the confidence at the moment. And I think that's what we've seen on Friday night. We've seen players like Gomez. Who, there's so much more, I think, to come from Andre Gomez. Yeah. So much more. But at the moment, without someone next to him who almost says, go on, lad, you go you go up the pitch a bit. He's playing a little bit within himself. And what and that's, I think that's part of the challenge if we put him and Schneidlin together. Yeah. Because they're exactly the bloody same. Mm. Schneidlin um, has got the talent I mean, you know, he showed again. It's a lower league team, but he showed a little bit last night what he's capable of doing. But he always, and my mate said to me last night, he always seems to be a sort of player. Once he's got the ball, he wants to give it to someone he thinks is better. Yeah. So let's say he gives it to Gomez. What's been happening? Is Gomez gives him it back. I <laughs> think, but that's the thing. I think you can. I think every team needs one of those players, though. Yeah, but not two. Not two, though. <laughs> Which is why Tom could and should should have been involved, perhaps. Because at least Tom knows which way to go. Well, I, am, I imagine Tom Davis was injured last night. He, he must, must have been. been. He yeah. must have been. But th- but I think that's why why we're going to struggle in, in the Premier League to break teams down if Gomez doesn't start to say it himself. I agree. Um, so, but well, well, I thought that Wobie was great and he got his goal. It was a, it was a, he'll it, start. It was a, it was. A, I think he'll start. He'll f- he's the kind of play for me now that the manager has to find a position for him. Mm. Has to. Whether and, and because he likes DCL. And Richarlison's mm. going to start. That's three up front, isn't it, effectively? Well, yeah. I know they'll be called midfielders or, or whatever. I, I think the difference yeah. with a Wobie... You know, for, a 4-5-1 or whatever I think the difference with a Wobie, though, is so mobile... He is. ...that he, he is. can play off the left, but he'll find himself all over the pitch. Mm. Um, which is a massive benefit, because then he can play centrally and you might play Bernard. Might, I, you wonder whether, actually... I don't know if he's got the discipline, whether a Wobie could play... Almost as a central role, as a ten, not as a ten, like almost as an eight. Okay, and and then you maybe allow not to not have Snyderlin or not have Gomez for a certain game if you haven't got fit fit, fit or players. Or question Sigurdsson then. But you've got to. I mean, I thought Sigurdsson had a good game last night. It was his best game. It was. I mean, I know it's lower opposition, but I thought what I thought about Sigurdsson last night was he he got himself in areas of the pitch he hasn't. He also got involved. Yeah, that was part. That was probably part. They got it. booked for getting booted up the ass. <laughs> yeah. It's just incredible. Pushed over by that yeah. twenty-two. Yeah. But he in the first half he was getting wide and putting crosses in and but crosses with real shape on mm. them. And second half we obviously scored the third goal from him getting far wide post, on the right, thinking up the far post. Yeah. Well, it, it, lovely shape on Tosin it. Tosin did well. Tosin it? did brilliantly actually. Um, Very aware. Yeah, to put it back, proper strike of that, uh, and I will be put it in. And his penalty, I put. Were you, were you worried when he got the penalty? Because I think everyone was worried. Yeah. It was a great penalty. He missed more than he scored last season. Well, so. yeah, but he, he hasn't missed one away, though. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, it was a great penalty. Really, real good shape on it. Like, again, I'm keeping on using the word shape, but, like, no power, just shape into the corner. Yeah. And a bit high, so the keeper goes the right way. But going back to what you were saying before, the only thing that annoyed me in the whole night, I think, like, when they scored the first goal, I was just, like, typical, but... No, let's it's just see what happens. Minutes, but it was that bit between scoring the second goal and them equalising where we just switched off and we went totally. this game's won. Yeah. Whereas when we got it back when we got it to three two, we, we went going. for the fourth and we got the fourth and they could they had nothing. They don't even have a lot you know, we had uh, Andy on last week who no you know I was doing the preview with Andy and he knew everything about them. And he was like, They don't play long ball anymore. They don't have that worry that we had last season at Goodison. They've got good, quick footballers now. They've changed it. So last night they didn't even have that outlet of a long ball to worry us. Mm. But as soon as we stopped playing and took our foot off the gas, that allowed them to just start creeping up the pitch. Yeah. And you see now, listen, it was a tremendous goal. The finish is brilliant. 
But the amount of players who skipped past our play because we were going in half-hearted to allow them to get back into it. But when we got the third, that's what we should have done when we got the second. We just kept on Keep going. Foot on it, yeah. Kept on going. Richarlison had a header that got flicked over. And then obviously, brilliant skill by Dean leads him to get the, get the goal himself. Uh, really get the header, header. Which really was a good. great header. Which... Um, he worked hard for second half once he'd got... So what did your Andy man say? Because they've got a good reputation defensively, haven't they? They basically said that they changed the style. Yeah. So when it's at Goodison... Last year. And it was all, we were all terrified every time they got a set piece. Because mm. we were terrified in general when anyone got at a set time, piece. Yeah, yeah. But he said they changed it around. I think we've seen that last night. Yeah. That a team who wants to play football now, rather than just going long to the big man up front. Um, and I thought we dealt with... We dealt with... Every, they had two shots. Mm. And they scored from both of them. It was just that when we switched off, and again, that's that idea of we need to be more hungry. When there's when there's a chance, I think, and it's, again, Friday night against Villa, we were so guilty of this. When we're, when we're going at teams, keep going. Don't stop, because that's what those horrible teams do at the top. Mm. The horrible ones. Not the nice ones like Man City, the horrible ones. There's only one, isn't They it? keep, I know, but I'm <laughs> trying to be a little bit more objective. They, they all know who you I know, mean. I know. But we do get Reds watching. They 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 keep going at teams. They don't let teams settle. Well, it becomes accumulative then the yeah. pressure. Yeah, and and that's what brings mistakes. You know, and it happens in every sport. Yeah. You know, have to look at cricket only the last week yeah. to see what happens when the pressure comes on, and 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 clearly the the, the worry, if you're particularly if you're the home team, must be at its most highest when you've just gone behind, mm. and if the and, and if you look at what you call the horrible teams, they score the goals in clusters. Yeah. You know, they get two or three or whatever it is in a short period, mm. and the game is over. Then, yeah, there's lots of room. They're all chilled. They can bring out the, the skills and so on. And, and we've got that in our bag if we just have the confidence and the trust almost to do it. I think we've. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say we've got it. I think we've got the potential to have it. I don't, no. You look at the players. Yeah. You look at the players, and so, some of okay, the they've got it. We need to see it. Some of the players ha still look. Like they've got this nervousness about That's what them. I mean. Yeah. And, I, and it, it's about and with players like Delph and players like Awobi and players like Moise Keane who've played for, you know, good sides. Champions League. You know. All that rubbish. <laughs> you've got Andre Gomez. We, we, he, had it for, he had it when he was at Valencia, but he lost it when he was at Barcelona. Mm. And even though we've seen it in flits last season, he's got it. What we've seen of Andre Gomez so far is not the thing that got Andre Gomez to Barcelona. Andre Gomez was a was a number eight who picked the ball up and run past people. We've seen that once yeah. against Wolves. Yeah. So what we've seen so far is a nice footballer. We need to start seeing him going right. I'm going to relax now and come out Michelle a little bit. So my, my 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 very personal issue with Gomez is I didn't believe the hype last season based on what I saw. Yeah. I mean, at the money, mm. you think that's good money. Yeah, yeah. If he performs, yeah. And then at the start of the season, I don't know whether. It, because we haven't seen him do a proper full priest and all that sort of mm. stuff. Whether he's just one of these players who needs games, which I know Sigurdsson clearly yeah, yeah. does. So is he like that? Or he's become one of these players who are ever so slightly different mm. when they've got a, a transfer rather than they're on yeah. loan and playing for something. And, and he's felt the love and it's yeah. the, you know, almost your God, you walk on water. And before the Villa game, I bumped into this we were just sat down in a little cafe and we ended up talking to these guys on the next table who were Portuguese who were Evertonians because of Marco Silva because they're from Estoril and so that, he's a legend over there for what he did with them and they just don't get the Gomez thing mm. they said well wh why is he lauded so much because he's not doing it which is your point no, yeah. they, they remember him from when he was in their country and then going off to Valencia as this great promise then ended up at Barcelona but they've said we've never seen it. Gary Neville said that when he was at Valencia, there was two players that were, had the potential to be world class. One of them was just signed for Man City, Cancelo, and the other one was Andre Gomez. Mm. And he said because he and uh, he didn't really elaborate on it, but he said the two players who were world class, who had potential to be world class. So I know he didn't play last night, and and to be fair, this season he got an injury in the first game, probably played through the injury in the Watford game, and in it's the easy to go past. No, he is because he's he's. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't turn well. That's what I'm saying. He's got a. He's, and he's got the Schneidlin thing of soft fouls. Well, the good thing is about him is though, for twenty two million pounds, you probably can. You don't have to sit here and go, oh, he's amazing, or he's always oh, terrible for the price. You don't have to do that. You can go, 
He's a good, solid player, but we need to get more well, out of him. Presu- yeah, but, but presumably what Brands and Silver would like to think is we've got a 50 plus million pound player for 20, yeah, 20 yeah. something. And that's what he needs to show, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he didn't even play last night in the tournament. Um, <laughs> no, but we do. We need more players with more hunger. Because there is the conundrum there of Sigurdsson and Gomez together. And Snyderlin. Oh, well, be and the irony is... Elf, won't it? The irony is, though, out of those three players, Snyderlin is playing... He's the only one pl- who's only the only one start of the season actually playing in his true manner, if that yeah. makes sense. Well, he's like, consistent. We know that. Because people, when people go, uh, did, when people say, well, Schneiden do, didn't do anything, well, I go, well, that, then he's had a good game. Yeah. He's had a good game then. Because the, he's I mean, just, he hasn't been booked. He hasn't given soft yeah. fouls away. He hasn't <laughs> given the ball away. And so, he is one of those players, if he's doing his job properly, you, you don't You really don't know see him. him. Yeah, you don't so see he's him. He's a water carrier, isn't he? Yeah, 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 that's, that's all he is. is. Yeah. And that's what he... That's what he wants to be, and that's why the manager's a manager appreciates him, I think, and that's why he wants him to stay. And that's why when John's talked to me last night, and he, and he, it was John Van who said, that, you mm. know, he always looks to give it to a best player. I think he means a more creative player. Yeah. And if he's getting the ball and giving it to Gomez, Gomez has then got to use it. Exactly, and that's why, that's that's the irony of the whole thing when people give uh, grief to Snyderland and don't give maybe as much grief to Gomez or to Sigurdsson, although Sigurdsson does come under a, a lot of grief. It's 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 Snyderland doing his, his natural job. That's what he's been doing. I don't think he had a little when he was at Southampton. We we sort of seen a little bit more out of him. But that's what his job is. That's what his job's always been. At well, when I did the pod pass with Pete Molyneux, obviously Man United yeah. fellow that I do with, the player they bought from Southampton they saw for a year, mm. and, and he saw that same player the first year at Everton. Yeah. And then both times it sort of goes for some reason. Yeah. So that's about, it's got to be about man management. So if mm. he feels comfortable, whatever it is, that he doesn't feel he needs to do that little bit extra, that's into the on field and off field management to get into his head and say, no, yeah. that's not good enough. Yeah. yeah. I because think. Because he, he's, he's, if he comes good mm. again, then we've got a really competent player there, haven't we? Mm. He's, yeah, I think, I think for me, He's a squad player and he's mm. doing the job he's supposed to. But like you've just said, will Delph come in and replace him? We don't know because the manager's already said he doesn't see Delph as a six. He sees him as an eight, more like an Andre mm. Gomez replacement. And maybe the emergence of Delph will give Gomez the rock. Well, well it's interesting because one of the things I'm looking forward to seeing is Delph and Sigurdsson in the Premier League. Because even when he's been a bit mardy and slow starting mm. Sigurdsson, he always finds space. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Delph will find him. And, and, and I frequently say to my, my poor missus, who has to suffer sitting next to me every game, is that um, Schneiderlin gets the ball too much. Mm. Yeah. And all the, the more crazy players, if you count Sigurdsson as one of those, don't get it enough. Yeah, that's the problem. We need them on the ball. Yeah. Well, we need to go through the middle more. And absolutely right. And if we're going to have those damody type things yeah. with, you know, uh, I don't know, Gomez at the back of it and Sigurdsson at the front, they need to pivot properly. Mm. That's really it. Do. We go wide far. To, I mean, Friday night was embarrassing. The amount of time it was so predictable. I mean, we had, Villa were basically going like that and part in the Red Sea and going, "Go on, if you want, go through the middle." And we weren't. We just kept on going wide, mm. and we did it similar last night. But it's something they're going to have to but get. Most out of. teams would be comfortable with you going wide. Yeah, yeah. But not if you ping it in early. No, no, no. Not Which if you. Is what Dean did last movements night. Is, yeah, movements. That is what, sorts them out. Then. Yeah, yeah, movements is what kills people. But if you do go wide, you need quality, which is what we had last mm. night. Um, what are your thoughts on the draw? Sheffield Wednesday away. Two Sheffield teams in a couple of days, isn't it? I think we've got Sheffield United around then as well, haven't we? I don't know anything about them. You know. Well, they're doing well. I think they're near the top yeah, of the league. Um, they're, yeah. Everton will be playing against Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough in the third round of the League Cup. This will be their first meeting since September 2007, which is also in the third round of the League Cup. I was there. Yeah. I, I was there, and I think, if I remember, it was Stephen Pienaar's full debut really? for Everton, if Stand I remember out. right. And somebody told Isn't me Wikipedia, great. Yeah. So no, 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 no. I remember because I remember. Cause, and someone told me on that night, and I've mentioned this a few times, that Stephen Pina was never going to make it as an Everton player. So you keep reminding them. I do you? always remind them. I Go always on. remind my brother-in-law, Paddy, yeah. uh, <laughs> that he said that he was never going to make it. So, um, Sheffield went to do all right. I think. I mean, w- w- when you're walking back to the car in the pouring rain, you know, you think, well, anyone at home, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, or you really said we want a lower. Yeah, league low, lower than the Prem. If you'd avoid a Premier League team, you know, right through to semis or something. So we shouldn't complain about it. We'd no, ex- no, we'd expect to beat them, wouldn't we? Well, hopefully, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, 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 we'll see where we are when we play them, but we should be good enough to go there and, and beat. They're them. all done on the night now. None of this replay, yeah. extra time, no, and all that none rubbish. of that, yeah. none of that. So, yeah, it should be a good. You going? 
If I can, yeah, I yeah. will be. I yeah. will be. Baz will be back, so I won't be tied to the desk in here. Yeah. Um, Le yeah. Leave you on your lonesome for so long. It's yeah. the, it's the, it's the, while he swans around with Marvel's artists in Star Wars land. Great, <laughs> isn't it? Um, yeah, there you go. A win. 4-2 victory we're through that's the main thing isn't it, it? is not it totally yeah some good some some good fitness exercises some good debuts um and for some people you can look at them and go yeah i want him in the first team now mm. so cool there you go let us know your thoughts in the comments on the game uh anything we've discussed a will be moist moist keen will he will he start for you on sunday let us know your thoughts in the comments big thanks to john for coming in to discuss this game don't forget give this video a like it really helps the channel it tells youtube that you like this channel simple as that subscribe if you haven't already and if you want more great videos live videos every day over on patreon join us there as well thanks for watching see you later